Well, unfortunately, RSV cases are climbing, and the CDC is sounding the alarm on the shortage of a vaccine to protect infants from the virus. We're talking our most little vulnerable ones. So precious. Well, here to talk more on the nationwide shortage this morning is Dr. Amish Adalja uh, with Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit more about the situation and where do RSV cases stand right now? Well, RSV is starting to pick up just like it does every season, particularly in the Southeast. And we know RSV is a major cause of infant hospitalization. It also hospitalizes older adults as well. And what's happening now is that we've got a lot of tools for RSV that we didn't have. We've got vaccines for older adults, we've got vaccines for pregnant women, and we have a monoclonal antibody for infants. And that monoclonal antibody is in shortage right now because there's been unprecedented demand and some supply issues and insurance hiccups that are making it a little bit harder for protection to be afforded to uh, the youngest individuals who could get that monoclonal antibody. Well, we know that RSV is highly contagious. So how concerned are you about the situation and what is being done to help protect our most vulnerable? Well, it's important to remember that we didn't even have this monoclonal antibody or any of these vaccines last year. So what what I think we have to keep that kind of context in mind, that these are new products that are getting put onto the market and there are going to be glitches. And what we see right now is that there are some issues with doctor's offices not wanting to stock the monoclonal antibody because they're worried that they may not get reimbursed because it is pretty costly. So I think what we have to do is work out those hiccups and hopefully at the same time, the manufacturer is going to be increasing production, increasing manufacturing so that we can get more of these uh, into more of these monoclonal antibodies into those individuals who are at risk. The other thing is that the CDC has published some guidance for physicians to understand how to prioritize this monoclonal antibody. We want to prioritize it for those that are at the highest risk. Um, those are going to be younger babies than, than versus older babies. But I think this is something that we have to work out. And one of the additional things we can do to protect the youngest is to make sure that pregnant women who are in their third trimester are taking advantage of the vaccine. Because if they get vaccinated when they're pregnant, they don't necessarily have to have their babies get this monoclonal antibody because the antibodies they generate are going to pass to that fetus. So we've got a lot of tools. And in many ways, this is kind of an abundance of riches um, that we didn't even have last year. Yeah, well, what other preventative steps can parents take to protect their kids from RSV? Because I know a lot of them are really concerned right now. Well, RSV is a ubiquitous virus and everybody gets it before the age of two years. The key thing is trying to prevent severe RSV in children that are less than one year of age. So that would be if you have a child keeping them home when they're sick, thinking about when there's outbreaks in your area, uh, being much more careful. But it's something that's very, very hard to avoid because as I said, it's something that everybody gets before the age of two years. The key is not to prevent all RSV infections, but to kind of push them off so that you're not getting RSV in the first six months of life, or if you're a premature infant, not getting it uh, at all. And we do have other monoclonal antibody products that are available for premature infants. Those are also something that people should be talking to their, uh, their doctors about if they are the parent of a premature infant. All right, that is important to know. Make sure you take care of those tiny ones. Thank you for your time this morning. Thanks for having me. 819 right now. Let's check